Welcome to Linux Int YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about inputs and outputs in the C programming language. So you might already have an idea that we use the function printf to print org to display the output to the user. Similarly, we use the function scanf to get the input from the user. Both of these functions are included in the standard input output library, which is also known as the stdio.h. The first thing that you need to do, you need to include the library, which is the stdio.h. And first up, we're going to display some output to the user. So I've already mentioned that we use the function printf to display output to the user. Now this function takes in a string value. And within these quotation marks, we can write our string or our sentence. For example, we want to say something like hello Linux sent. So as you can see, when I ran the program, I got my output as hello Linux sent. So that is how you use the function printf. But in case when you want to print the values from a variable, you need to use format specifiers. For example, let's create some variables. Let's create an integer variable i and let's give it some value like 10. Similarly, let's create a character variable and name it as a and give it the character value capital A. Now, if I want to print these values, I cannot use the method that we use in other programming languages, which is to simply pass on the variable in the print function. Because if I ran that code, it would give me an error. That is because this printf function only takes in a string value. So that is why we use a format specifier. Now a format specifier is a reserved keyword in the C programming language, which tells the printf function to print the value of a particular integer within that string. For example, if I want to print the value of an integer variable, I would use the format specifier percentage %d. Now format specifiers can easily be recognized with the percentage symbol. So next up, what we need to do is we need to write the value or the variable for this format specifier. So we do that by using a comma right after the string and then writing the name of the variable. So I'm using a percentage %d format specifier, which is for integer value. So I'll use the value or the variable i. So if I ran this code now, you can see that I get the output 10 on my screen. Similarly, if I want to print a character variable, I will use a format specifier percentage %c and right after comma, I would pass in the character variable which is the small a. And if I save this code and run this code again, you can see that I get 10 and then followed up by a. But the output is too congested. To better format it, I can use an escape sequence which is the backslash n. And then I can run my code to get the output 10 and a on a new line. Just like this. So that is how you use the printf function to display outputs to the user. Now let's talk about getting inputs from the user. So to get input from the user, we use the function scanf. Now this scanf function is also included in the stdio.h library. So if you look over here, I want to get an integer value from the user. Let's say the value is his age. So I'll create an integer variable. I'll name it age and I'll leave it blank. Then I'm going to use the printf function to prompt the user that he needs to input his age. And then to get the value from the user, I'm going to say scanf and then I need to use the format specifier again to define the type of the input that I'm getting from the user. Since it's an integer value, I'm using the format specifier percentage %d. Similarly, just like the printf function, I need to write the variable in which I'm going to store this value right after the comma. But there is a slight difference over here. In printf function, we used to pass on the variable names, but in scanf function, we need to pass on the address of the variable. So that is why in scanf function, we use the address operator, which is the end symbol, followed up by the variable name, which was age. So now that I've taken the input from the user, I can again use the printf function to display the age back to the user. I can say something like, so your age is, and then I can use the format specifier followed up by the variable name. I'll use an escape sequence as well. So now when I save the program and run it, I get the following output. Please enter your age. I'm going to enter something like 24. So it says, so your age is 24. But there is another thing that I want to add. When you're working with a lot of inputs or when you are trying to get inputs of different data types, or if you're trying to get inputs within a loop, you need to check this one thing. You need to put a blank space right before the percentage symbol. Now this is not a mandatory step. However, 
The thing with C programming language is, oftentimes when working with scanf function, the pointer is sometimes point at the wrong address. To get over that thing or to avoid that thing, there is a trick of putting a blank space before your percentage symbol. So this trick helps getting values in a loop. Anyways, that was all for this video.